I like that too. Maria is from Mexico. She asked her friends what they like. Maria made graphs to show her data. Maria's friends like tortillas. The graph shows that seven girls and nine boys like tortillas. Piñatas are fun to use. The tally chart shows how many friends like piñatas. Many children like music. The bar graph shows how many friends like music. Maria plays Loteria. Loteria is a game. It is like bingo. The tally chart shows how many friends like Loteria. Many children like to play soccer. The picture graph shows the girls and boys who like to play. These children like to have fun. Do you like to have fun too? Okay, so today we are gonna be working on problem solving and our strategy is making a table. The essential question is, how do I make and read graphs? This is page 515 in your math book. So the question says, Kimi buys a t-shirt. It has a stripe on each sleeve. It has four words and a picture on it. Which shirt did she buy? Hmm, number one, understand. Underline what you know. Okay, so we know that Kimi buys a t-shirt. It has a stripe on each sleeve and it has four words and a picture on it. Circle what you need to find. We need to find which shirt did she buy? And there's a question mark. Number two, let's plan. How will I solve this problem? And number three, solve. I will make a table. Shirt number one, picture, words, stripe. Because we need to find the shirt that has picture, four words, and a stripe. Okay, so shirt number one, does it have a picture? Let me look up here. Nope, it doesn't. So I'm gonna write no. Let's see, does it have any words? Yes, it has one word. Number one. Does it have any stripes? Yes, it does. So we write yes. Now let's look at number two. T-shirt number two, does it have any pictures? Yes, it does. Yes. How many words? One, two, three, four. Four words. Does it have stripes? One, two. Yes, it does. And t shirt number three. Does it have a picture? Yes, it does. Does it have words? One, two. And does it have any stripes? No. So it looks like t shirt number two is the one that Kimi, Kimi bought because yes, it has a picture. It has four words, just like we were looking, and it has stripes. Now we have to just check our answer like I just did to make sure it's reasonable, make sure that we think it's right. Why is it right? Because everything that um, it's the word problem said it had, we found on t-shirt number two. 
Okay, so that's what we're going to be doing. Let's go ahead and go to the next page. You are gonna work on this at home. Okay, you're gonna be practicing the strategy. So this problem says, a first grade class collects 11 cans. A second grade class collects five cans. How many more cans did the first grade class collect? Hmm. So, number one, understand what you, underline what you know. <clears throat> so I know that a first grade class collected 11 cans. And I understand that a second grade class collects five cans. Circle what you need to find. Hmm, I need to find out how many more cans did the first grade class collect? Okay, so I did number one. Number two, hmm, how am I gonna solve this? Number three, solve it. Grade number one, how many cans did they collect? 11. Grade number two, they collected five cans. So now I need to find out how many more first grade collected. So I'm going to do a subtraction problem. 11 minus five, okay? And then let me figure this out. Hmm, 11 take away five. I could count backwards, 11, 10, nine, eight, seven, six. Okay. Is my answer re reasonable? Explain it. Well, yes, because grade one collected 11, grade two collected five. So I just did a subtraction problem to get my answer. They collected six more cans. Okay, so that's what you're going to be doing. And let's see here. Now you have to do this by yourself or with someone at home. Number one, count the animals. Make a table. How many chickens are there? Hmm, count them and write it here. Or you can actually write it on a piece of paper or in your math book. It's page 517. How many dogs are there? Count and put the answer here. How many cows do you see in this picture? Write the answer there. Then answer number two. How many more cows than dogs are there? How many animals are there in all? Number four. Raul, Sofia, and Leah each have a pet. The pets are a bird, a snake, and a cat. Sophia's pet has two legs. Raul's pet has zero legs. Leah's pet has four legs. So right here where it says number of legs, you're gonna write how many legs does Raul's pet have? Hmm, Raul's pet has zero legs. So I'm gonna write zero. I wonder what pet that is. You can write it right here. And then answer the question, whose pet is a bird. I also want you to work on this page. There are three plates. Each plate has two carrots. How many carrots are there in all? Okay, so we can make a table to figure this out. Owen ate 10 oranges. Quinn ate two oranges. How many more oranges did Owen eat than Quinn? There are three maple trees. There are five oak trees. There are eight redwood trees. How many oak and maple trees are there together? Okay, you're gonna work on this. And if you have any questions, you can ask me and I will help you through it, okay? If you feel confident, like you can do this, then you can go ahead and start working on your homework. It's gonna be page 519 and 520, okay?